it's not another another pre-bug Zuma on this channel, man. We just can't get away from these things. But uh, this one was an interesting find, actually, from a buddy here in Vegas. So we're going to do him some good and get this bad boy back up and running again. What is this stuff falling from the sky, man? We live in Vegas. We don't get things like this. This is uh, we just get back from Seattle trip, and now it's been raining here like the last like four days. We would let it sit out here and get its natural bath here in the rain for a little bit and uh, just wiped her down. This front end on this thing, um, quickly looking at it, it's a clapper. So uh, it's got a Leo Vince pipe, and it looks like someone lost the bracket or maybe broke the bracket. Supposedly, this thing has a Plini Corsa cylinder on it. So, funny enough, I actually recognized this bike because I got a DM. Um, probably like a year ago from someone here that's in, local in Vegas who was working on this bike um, for the person who owned it. So the person who owned it had someone else working on it for him and that guy was asking me a bunch of questions about it because it was giving him a bunch of issues and then he put a cylinder kit on it and he still had a bunch of issues after that. So uh, the thing actually runs right now, it just runs terrible and I can't tell if it's something minor or something major. It almost seems like it's an ignition issue which I've never had that problem on a pre-bug yet. So it'd be interesting to see if that's the issue. But uh, overall looking at it, it's a, it's a piece of work. We got a little bit of some funky wiring back here. Looks like there's some tape going on back there. Uh, just overall has stock carb on it, which is kind of interesting. It's missing an air box. Has stock carb on a 70 kit and has an aftermarket pipe. Other than that, this thing looks pretty bone stock. Just a little beat up. As you can see, missing some of the plastic here. These plastics are all cracked and repainted. Uh, cluster is just hanging in there for dear life. It's just sitting in there. Uh, pretty much every plastic on here is just cracked, which is, is not a big deal. You can get plastics for these things pretty, pretty easily. So that one's cracked down there. Not sure what's in here in the CVT wise. It could be all stock for all we know, like I said, but stock carb, stock intake, and supposedly a Plini Corsa. This thing actually came from an auction yard. I've gone to a bunch of auctions here in Vegas and I've yet to find anything good there. It's always just like beat up China scooters. But uh, my buddy Cody who goes there all the time for cars, I gave him like a reference photo of some of the good scooters to keep an eye out for. And he sent me a photo one day and was like, yo, I think I found a Zuma at the auction yard. And I was actually really surprised, but it's funny that this one was the one that I was getting messages about. And then I see it at the auction yard. So I'm not sure on the whole backstory of what happened there but he was able to get the title for it and bought it from the auction and he got it for $200, which is pretty crazy. Auction writing here, it's got a key. I think that says 30 bucks, $35 for the key. It does run though. It just runs absolutely terrible. It doesn't go over like five miles per hour. And as you can see, we got some fresh Mop Boys merch. This just dropped. I haven't posted anything on YouTube about it because I just dropped like little bits of items. There's new sticker packs, there's new shirts and there's hats available. These are the Stress Dad Caps, so they look like they're pre-torn. It's, it's a sick look. I love these hats. This, I've been rocking this hat for like four months now, maybe five months, and I'm stoked that they're finally on the website and you guys can grab one. So if you guys want me to keep making these videos, grab yourself some Mop Boys gear. Don't go to the mall and buy gear when you can support someone who supports your hobbies. You know what I mean? So grab some Mop Boys gear down in the description down below. Thing's an absolute clapper though, let me tell you. I don't want to go ride it right now because as you can see, it's raining and it's soaked outside and I don't really trust this thing. Buzzing up here in the cluster too. I don't know what's going on up there, but she didn't like that. She runs though. Let's get this thing torn apart. All right, it is time to tear this one apart and see what we're really working with. Of course, we got the Mop Boys shorts on. Come on now, garage shorts, Mop Boys garage shorts. Still going through this thing, but it's clapped. So it needs a lot of work. I'm waiting for Cody to let me know how deep he wants to go on this thing because I don't want to try fixing it as is. So we're pending if we're going to spend the bands to make this thing right or we're going to... He, he's going to have to figure something else out. I don't want to make this thing run in stock four, but sky looks absolutely insane out here right now. Look at that. Got a rainbow over there. It's time to strip this engine down to the cases. We got it sitting up here on the bench and it definitely needs to be power washed first. This thing is absolutely filthy. So I'm gonna pull it out, clean it all up, and then we'll strip her all apart. This thing's getting a full 70 kit. I got all the parts over here in the box. We'll show you those just in a second. 
But first things first, let's get this thing all cleaned up. Flywheel removed. Now we just get, need to get the ignition out of here. And then we'll get to the oil pump and clean all that out. Because that is going to be the dirty part right here. This is the fun part. Oh my god, dude, look at that play. Dude, check. Check out this play. Up and down, side to side. Up and down plays bad, too. Dude, that thing was toast. Some good old engine degreaser. Let this thing soak it all in. And we're coming here and power washer. Clean her all up. It doesn't really matter if we get it in the cases. We're tearing the cases all apart and everything. Cylinder, crank, that's all. It's trash. So, whatever gets soaked, it don't matter at this point. Got some new brake pads for it too, so. Where's that washer I was looking for? Let's see, let's see how we're looking in the cylinder part of this engine. Everything else is looking pretty damn rough, boys. Not gonna lie. Also, I noticed that the flywheel was just caked in dirt, so it was probably not getting a good connection from the flywheel at all either. Oh man, this thing is rough, dude. Does not feel good at all on the top end. Me a bunch of water in here now because how we cleaned it, but that's all right. Let's get this thing taken apart. Let's see what happens. Oh, she's definitely been seized a lot. Just see, there's like metal shavings all caked up in the deep side of this piston, it's stacked in there. This one's rough. Cracking these cake bolts loose. It's time. It's time to split this case up, boys. These are all out already. Crank is already toasted, so there's no uh, no reason to take it easy on her. So we're hitting it with the old uh, hammer her out action. And call it done. Now oh, she's already splitting. I've only hit her those couple times, and she's already splitting up. Let me just move this thing around real quick. Stayed in. That's all right. That's crazy. Oh my god! Just fell right out, dude. This side just fell right out. Wow. That. <laughs> Look at that. Man. Bearing is done, dude. That is crazy. Wow. Toasted, boys. Toasted. All right, I was gonna wait till the next video to show you guys what we're working with here, but I figured I'd show you guys in this video since we already got the engine torn apart pretty quickly. But uh, show you exactly what we're gonna be building next time and start throwing this thing together. But uh, we gotta wait for this crank and these bearings to freeze up a little bit. We're also gonna be using the dry ice trick, which I did in the last build when I built Joe's knees blue Zuma. So uh, works way better with the dry ice. But uh, basically we got cases here, all split and stripped, ready to go together. And uh, first thing we're gonna be doing is popping in these bearings. We got some S23 bearings and seals right here. Get these bearings nice and frozen. It makes it a lot easier to pop them into the cases. And then uh, going off the bottom end, we got a stage six full circle crank. I really like these stage six cranks. Ooh. Almost dropped her. Been using these on a lot of the builds lately, and they've been treating me right. So, stage six crank going in there to go with the stage six bottom end. We're doing a stage six top end. So, we got the MK2, 
which is the aluminum cylinder, but it comes with a dual ring piston. So it's not the race one with the single ring like I did on the F12. A little bit less aggressive, a lot more reliable. So I really like the ports on these stage six cylinders, which is why these are going to be my go-to cylinders from now on for these builds. But very nice ports going on in here in the intake. Very nice ports down here on the cases. You're going to have to do a little bit of case matching and uh, dremel out these cases just a little bit to open up for this port right down here which uh, doesn't really fit on the stock cases so we we'll have to dremel that out a little bit very nice piston dual ring piston to go along with everything else we got a stage six intake I really love these intakes the big intake and you can put a V4 style carbon reed in here and it just makes this thing kick ass so we'll do a little bit of port matching on the intake itself because when you do those reeds you'll notice that this uh, elbow on the intake the diameter is a lot smaller than the reed cage itself so we'll open that thing up a little bit and uh, simply we got fuel line we got a 1500 contra spring top performance CVT kit these are really killer I usually go with a stage 6 variator but these kits actually kill it and it comes with a belt so top performance kit there we got the Pliny 3 shoe adjustable clutch I really like these we're going to change the springs in it but really nice clutch right there and uh, of course Pliny CP carb, my go-to, 21 mil carb, right out the box, you can slap it on there with the jetting that comes with it. I usually move the needle clip to the top, those things absolutely kill it. Temp gauge, 100% mandatory if you're doing a build, don't be running no temp gauge on your bikes boys, pay attention to your temps. Temp gauge, fuel line, and of course a throttle cable because you're not going to be running the stock throttle cable which is split off for the oil pump as we did oil pump delete. So that's everything we're working with here. This is basically the full entire engine build. This is nothing for the scooter itself besides the throttle cable, but this is everything to throw this engine back together. So uh, that's what we're going to be working on next time in the next video, boys. Stay tuned for this build. This thing should be coming back to life very shortly. So that's going to do it for this one. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and if you guys need to buy parts for your scooters, if you guys are looking to do a build, make sure you check out the description down below. Use code MOPBOYS and you can save some money on your scooter parts over at Scooter Swap Shop. Click the link right here if you want to check that out. I'll see you guys in the next one.